once it got dark, it was dark. I mean, there were no street lights. There weren't business lights. I mean, when it was dark, it was dark. I assume it was cloudy because there was no moon shining bright to, you know, make it light up. And it was dark. You could not see if you were, it was me and you standing there, couldn't see you. So we stood as a group. And there are people, of course, walking everywhere. It's not like just a typical night where if it's in the middle of the night, nobody's really wandering around. And people are wandering aimlessly around by the hundreds, by the thousands. And so you're standing there and, and you can hear people walking up, but you can't see them coming. And as law enforcement, that makes you nervous. You want to see people coming to you. During the day and night, you, you're hearing gunfire everywhere, all around you. And you're assuming it's just citizens, it's not law enforcement. And, of course, you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know who they're really aiming at. There were several times when we were down there at the base of the, the, the ramp where we could actually see the fire coming out of the, the muzzle. We, you know, so I said, well, did you shoot back? Well, no, you just can't point your gun in the general direction that you heard the sound and start shooting. You know, you can't do that. You know, we, we heard fire. We heard fire that was close. We, we actually saw some, some gunfire in the night. I couldn't tell you how close it was, but obviously it was close enough that we could see the, the flash. You know, people would come running up to us while we were down there, you know, saying, uh, man just got shot, a man just got shot down here, and we need a cop, we need a cop. Well, we were not allowed to leave, period. We were there, we could get somebody else to go respond, but that was our duty. We were told to stay there. And then you don't know if it was a trick. You don't know if it was wanting them to get you alone, you know, into a remote area where there was nobody else. And you had to think about these things. And, you know, that's not something I would typically think about. But let me tell you, it didn't take me long to get in that mentality when you're thrown into that kind of situation. I mean, it was survival. And, and that's what it turned into being. It was, we're the cops but we're here to protect everybody, but we're also here to make sure we stay alive and go home as well.